Yeah, I'm gonna at the end of this video, I'm gonna attach a video of uh, this guy. This of uh, these uh, basket of flowers. It's a really cool item. Never got produced. But what I wanted to do here was kind of give you the history of the flowers while I was at Jemmy. So from my beginning to my end, the different flowers that I worked on. I also worked on flowers at Dandy, uh, uh, but um, I'm not going to include those here. So when I first joined Jemmy, this is like, uh, uh, what, 98? Uh, this item, the Sunny the Singing Sunflower, was already being sold. Uh, it was it was a good item. We sold some. We had this is the closed box, and then we also had a cellophane one with the Try Me box. It basically, you know, this was completely closed. Then would open up, the mouth would open up, and the eyes would open up, and it'd sing "You Are My Sunshine" or "Let Me Call You Sweetheart." Both public domain songs, so there was no royalty. Uh, at this point, I don't think Jimmy had put royalty in any items yet. Uh, but then right after, soon after this, and we, that's when we started. Um, so this item was established. I, I thought, okay, instead of one flower, why not four flowers? You know, so basically I came up with the idea uh, of the dancing flowers and working with the engineers, we basically got it so the top two would go up and down separately, and then all four of them would spin together. Then the top two would go up and down. Uh, the song was in the mood. The song was always going to be in the mood because that's because that was the song I envisioned when I thought about the item because uh, it was just a great swing, you know, dance tune. I think it would be perfect for the flowers. Uh, it's funny because this 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 item. When I was there for a couple months and I uh, was starting to you know come up with ideas and share and bring up ideas. Hey, how about this? How about this? And I put an email together with t listing ten items of the items that I wanted. Uh, I suggested we do. And like the Big Bad Billy Bass was one was on there. I was on there, and it wasn't called that then. Uh, the Kung Fu Hamster idea, the, the idea for the Kung Fu Hamster was on there. Uh, actually, there was like seven out of those ten items we ended up doing, and ended up doing very well. And this was one of them. And this was my first big hit. At the same time, we had uh, like uh, Crocodile Rock, that which I had it was one of the first times I worked on, and. Uh, uh, Disco Dino, I think, and other animated plush items. So we had done some animated plush items, but this is uh, this is the first item I worked on that really kind of took off, and this was a big hit for us. We ended up doing like Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy and California Sun and other versions after this. We started with this one, uh, and then uh, then we did Lawn and Garden versions and all kinds of versions, you know, Valentine's versions. So we kept kept building on it. So that that was. Popular. A few years later, said, "Okay, let's try a flower item again because we you know we're two for two basically," and so we came up with the idea of the wildflowers. And these are plush flowers, you know, uh, and all this stuff you can find videos on YouTube. I don't have videos of any of this stuff, so I just have the photos. But the wild, these are like four of the styles, just different wild colors. It's flowers with a ZZ at the end instead of an S. Uh, it kind of, you know, moves back and forth that the leaves go up and down and this guy kind of goes up and over and up and over and up and over. It was fine. It was just okay. Didn't really sell that great. I think uh, one of the things that I kind of decided to say is cause we did it plush, cute plush flowers. That If we're going to do flower items, we need to do real flowers because mm -hmm. the plush flowers didn't work. And I did some plush flowers at Dandy too, and they were just okay. Uh, and I'm saying plush flowers are never going to work, but uh, I haven't had a lot of success with it. Then we kind of started playing. This is a lawn and garden item, I believe. And uh, where, you know, this is, it looks like it's just a plant. And then it opens up and you got this gnome that's dancing back and forth real fast. We also had like a bird and some other characters. Never got this one off the ground, I don't think. If we did, it was in the lawn and garden program. As I did lawn and garden for years while I was there. But then finally it gives this item. I wanted a deluxe item. I wanted one over the top. Uh, it kind of started out as a big sunflower with the sunflowers. Uh, and then it was a burr with sunflowers. It ended up with this. You'll see the video. It's really cool animation. I love this item. I think it eventually, end of the day, was just too expensive. Plus there was mold, co mold costs involved. And we just didn't get any big enough orders. I don't think we ever shipped this. So I might be wrong, but I don't think we ever did. But you see from the video, it's really cool. So that's kind of the story of the flowers during my time at Jemmy, which had been from like 98 to 2010. Uh, so it's kind of the, the, there was other ones in between here, but these were the kind of the main guys we worked on. Thanks.